Major staffing shortage for a local law enforcement agency. The Tarrant County Sheriff's Office says it needs to fill 300 positions. Chris Sadegui is with us in studio. Chris, some deputies we understand are working 75 hours a week. Yeah, and it sh sounds as if the workforce has disappeared. If you were to believe the sheriff, we got some numbers from the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office laying out just how short staffed they are right now. They have 250 vacant positions in the jail, while the amount of inmates has grown 20% in just the last six months. So fewer jailers to watch over more inmates, forcing some of those jailers to work between 50 and 75 hours a week. Sheriff Bill Wayborn says they have to start filling the jobs ASAP or else it could ultimately come at the cost of safety. The county commissioners did approve a 90 day contract to spend $37,000 on a recruiting firm, but Commissioner Manny Ramirez wants to take that a step further and approve incentive incentives to not only hire new jailers, but keep the ones they have incentives to the tune of up to a 10% raise. That would be the largest in the history of Tarrant County law enforcement. We asked the sheriff why he thinks they're having such a hard time hiring. I think it's a couple of things is, you know, I recently spoke to a high school graduation group and I asked him, I said, who in here intends to go into law enforcement? Not one hand came up. We had politicians slamming law enforcement. We had celebrities slamming law enforcement. Is I think that they, they took one situation and put us all in the same bucket. And I think that truly has hurt. Right now, people can apply for one of those jobs on the Tarrant County, Texas website. According to that website, pay starts at $24 an hour for detention officers.